Hi guys, Heather here. So what do you do if a patient drops a med like in their bed or down their gown? Well, hopefully they've had their morning bath, but if not, oh well, it happens. Most of the time I open the meds in front of the patient and I tell them what they are and I put them in a little medicine cup and then I see them holding the medicine cup and they're like fishing around, trying to count them, make sure they all look familiar and that I didn't sneak anything in there. Why would I do that? Well, maybe I'll sneak like a Xanax in there, but no, I'm just kidding. Some patients don't like using medicine cups, so they'll pour the meds into their hand, try and shove them all into their mouth, dropping one or two along into their bed and their gown, and sometimes you really can't find those things and you'll have to get a new one. But if you do find it, hooray for you. So what if the patient's pill like rolls off the bed and onto the floor? Some patients are like, oh, I can take it, it won't hurt me. But knowing what's actually on those floors, urine and all these gross things that people step in and then transfer it everywhere, it creeps me out. So no, I'm sorry, I can't let you take that pill. If patients have like these large horse pills to take, it makes me a little nervous. So I always ask them, can you swallow this pill okay? And some are like, oh yeah, no problem. You know, they take 10 pills at once. What's one big pill? And other people are like, oh, I don't know, I'll try. And I'm like, no, no, you, you can't try. I'm gonna put these meds in applesauce because they'll slide down the esophagus better. I don't wanna have to do the Heimlich today. If a patient's on a dysphagia diet and they really can't swallow that well, they're gonna get their meds crushed in applesauce for sure. Or maybe I'll put it in their morning oatmeal. Mm. I know I like my meds and oatmeal, but personally, it would be better to not have to take any pills at all. I know some pills might be necessary in certain situations, but most can be eliminated with good diet habits and some exercise. Well guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon, okay? Bye.